Well, the city of Upland plans to remove a banner that honors a young woman who served in the Navy, but her family wants the banner to stay. They made their case tonight at a city council meeting. KKL on Inland Empire reporter Crystal Cruz is live outside City Hall where she spoke to the family and the mayor. Crystal. Susie, this mother says she's been in a fog ever since her daughter's death, and tonight she says she doesn't think it's right. She's now having to deal with this. A mother in Upland is fighting City Hall to keep her 19-year-old daughter's military banner flying. Cynthia Shoup died over a year ago during her service in the Navy, and her family was told the banner was coming down. Banners can stay just one year and are meant for active military. So we're trying to keep it up permanently, not just for her, but again for future families so that they do not have to go through that pain again of having to to go through it. Shoup's mother was told their daughter took her own life, but the case is still open. Just flying her banner brings family some kind of peace, memorial, in honoring her. Eight years ago, the city started the military banner program that's meant to recognize active duty members. Shoup's family was at Monday night city council meeting. One friend wore a t-shirt with Cynthia's picture on it. They're hoping the council will change their policy and allow Shoup's banner to continue flying. But the issue was tabled for two weeks because not all council members were present. Mayor Ray Musser admits the council needs to take a real good look at their policy. Well, Try and get this resolved quickly. We don't want this to linger. We want a decision. And I think with working with Kiwanis, we can solve this in the next couple weeks and certainly by August have a final decision on this.